Hi everyone, Albar here, and welcome to this Let's Play. Well, um, uh, kind of a new beginning here. Um, well, this is the character that I've designated for the next build. I've got everything set up already, so I should be making the build as soon as possible. And yeah, now it's basically, uh, reincarnate and level up, so. Hopefully I've got everything set up for it. Let's hope I didn't forget too many things. Also, by the way, right now while I'm doing this, uh, Lamania is up. So if you want to see anything before it gets finalized, uh, Epic Destinies are being changed. Most notably for me, they're changing the healing aura from the uh, Exiled Angel. Uh, Holy Presence no longer heals. So if you want to get out with your angry mob and take a picture for it to it, this is your chance, not later. Okay, here we go. Reincarnation. Heroic true reincarnation. Should have a heart here someplace. Heroic true art of wood. Okay, plus two build points. Yeah, get past life of a rogue. Mind you, you really, to do this build, you're gonna need a. Uh, a plus five tome of constitution where you get from the favor. What is his name? Greenhand? Anytime I need my character's name and I'm, I don't want to start uh, faffing about with the spelling. I'm not sure how I spelled it, if it was proper or not. Type it into guild. There you go. If I want to send it to somebody in chat. Because sometimes I misspell things because, you know, the real name is caught. This is like, how did I spell it? Never mind. So, there you go. And yeah, log out. Let's go for reincarnation. Any year now? There you go, reincarnate. This is what else? H. H. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. Now I have to open up my uh, planner on the side. The pl I'll put the planner off the side. I mean, you're not going to be able to see it on screen, but whatever. Basically, it starts as a melee. And it's going to be first starting as a fighter. And customize. And it's a human. So this is all straightforward. Let's see. 16 strength. I put 14 dex. And 16 con. No intelligence. And it's like 12 wisdom. And 12 charisma. Yeah. So if you were like a 32 point build, I guess you would have to cut down a little bit on the wisdom and charisma. Or maybe one point, one less point in dexterity and you could cut down over here also, whatever, fine. Let's see, this build basically, I'm gonna put in, make sure I can do this. Make sure I can tumble. Uh, make sure I can use perform. Uh, I don't actually need jump for this build by the time, because it's a strength based build, so by the time I'm done with this build, I'm, I'm gonna have 70 jump. I like, I don't need to invest 20 points in it. The things I really need is concentration and heal. Concentration and heal, neither of them are class feats. Whatever. Concentration, I need less right now. I'll start with heal. So, yeah, that's it. So, this is a uh, two handed fighting build. And I guess we're going to take power attack. Power attack or precision. I guess I can swap it out later at the uh, end game. Take power attack now and precision later. 
And uh, weapon focus. This is a slashing weapons build. Fine. There we go. Yeah, because I'm going into the Kinsey tree, I'm going to take all the weapon focus. Okay, and here's the time for the character. So, usually most of the characters I do have... Well, I want them to have white hair, but I want it to contrast good. So then it's a, it's a darker character. So that's how this happens. Facial hair. Seems, seems kind of normal, but whatever. How about none? Yeah, fine. This one, and we're not going to see the eyes anyways. Okay, come on, do it. Yeah, circled back to where I started. That was the best. Here's going to change to a better version of this once I'm in the game. Yeah, there we go. Create lawful good. Yeah, this is a paladin build, so lawful good. Green hand. Went there. You find yourself waking on a shore of flotsam. That was creating a TR cache. Memories of a large white dragon striking your ship come flooding back. Ah, you're awake! Oi, you ain't undead, are you? Something very odd if I do this twice. Can you move? Here. Move this for a second. Doesn't allow me to do it twice unless I retype it. Ah, oh, you're awake. Oi, you ain't undead, Yeah, for some reason, I don't know. Sometimes it doesn't move to the right place. Whatever, there you go. This Can you move? gotta have the FPS. Oh, okay. Calm down. FPS counter over there. Get rid of this. Power attack can go up. These are going to be my attacks for now. I don't have anything better. Get rid of this. Drop this over here just in case we need it. Yes, I can move. Can Hi. I'll be a bit Speak taller now. No, nah, no, nah, we're going to do this. If what I the always do this quest. said was true, no one but you made it to the island alive. It may Start be worth following character. this rogue for now. Character sheet. After this, we've got enhancements, then epic destinies, Here we are. So and we reaper along. enhancements. I don't think I have any reaper points. I have zero, zero reaper points. Okay, let's see. DDL store goes here. Missed it. And the shard exchange. And let's see. Uh, Venture Compedium, then the goes to Quest Journal. And finally, Social. Give me a weapon. Um, great Axe. Give a few swings. As you take hold of the weapon, feeling its balance, you can't help but notice this Jeets has more he wants to say. Salimus is at the grotto. Tell her to keep her knickers on. Technically, this is like a public area. I shall show you the way. It should be a public area because I think you can spend your points here. It's your Harper Ancient. I should have two uh, points from uh, Tome, Strong and Morgrave, yeah. Uh, Falconary. What else do we have? Vistani. Mm, I don't need any of these. I'm eventually going to take this, but... I can take this and this would be very good, but I can't, so... Take another five hit points, except... 
This is all from Dragon Wrecked Ships, like yours. Here we are. Go inside and speak with Salinas. I'll wait here for... If I make a new character, I don't necessarily do it, but if I TR, I usually do this quest. It's like that once per lifetime I do the quest. In other words, if I'm just doing a, some blank character for a test, I don't Salinas, have to do this quest. I don't like to love this quest. Find? But if I'm doing it with the character, I feel like, you know, let's do it. Okay, all right, let's go. First, I shall surround us with a protection spell. Her spell temporarily prevents you from dying. Too bad I can't get this the bug out of this quest. Injuries. Get it to use it out of the quest. This sure there is a way, will wear off I don't know. When you leave these caves. Now, let's be about it. No, you can actually jump down this ladder. You could jump down from here without getting hurt. Usually players just jump down, but if you stand in the waterfall. Come on. You hear the shuffling and they drop wheezing down. of some creature coming from the corridor ahead. Yeah, this the character doesn't have any past life or Most anything active to turn off. The gate where the cleric Salimus is waiting. There is something odd about the first time you set up a character. You have to gotta put everything in place. Yeah, just make sure that you stand next to her when she does her uh, whatever it is, her buff, whatever it's called. Less. Look, the door closed behind us. Rare, sorry. Yeah, this is a falchion build, so they don't I don't have the option to pick a falchion when I started, but I'll take one later. There are more of them up there. Stay alert. So I took all the cosmetics from my main character, so the there's that. Just three rounds of this stuff. Gotta wait for Jeets to get to the door. So he can step on a trap and let me fall into the water. Anyone see a key? Curious. I just stepped on something. Good work. You I grab the silver key. Time to swim for the surface. I knew you'd come in, Andy. This way. Let him go ahead. Do I get actually bonus for disabling traps? Nope. I guess this is a script then. If it would be me, I would actually get whatever. I would say that I disabled the trap. Go already in. According to our employer, there's a secret passage around here somewhere leading to Porthos. If you didn't know, when you TR, your character gets a bit taller. 34 is taller and 36 is tallest, so. Just you feel a small draft little thing. from somewhere in this room. Perhaps the hidden passage to the village is in here. But first, 
first, I want to reward you for your assistance. Please they have an ember falchion. No. Fine. Okay, we're out. Stepping out of the grotto, now you find yourself in setup. Korthos village. The Sahuagin have threatened this place for generations. Judging from how it looks now, the Sahuagin are winning. What do I have in my However, bag right now? Some hopeful souls uh, still hold nothing? out for help to arrive. Well, I do have this, so we're gonna be using this character this mount. One of the things I really dislike is the the walk of shame you have to do to the bank. <laughs> you just come out of Korthos because you know you can't move. Uh, what character are we going for? The pseudo dragon. And if we're doing that, oh, I don't have a. Never mind. I can't use the whatever it's called. I can't think now. Um. I don't have access to Falc uh, to Fade Dark Illusionist yet. I'm just one level fighter, so. This is just the shortest way to a bank is through here. And here. Yep, here's the bank. Okay, now here comes the big click-a-thon where you stick things out of your bank. And now I've got a TR cache, so reincarnation cache goes here. Stretch it over a bit like this. Drag this down. This goes down like this. Okay. Do this. One, two, two. Okay. Cosmetics. The most important things, of course. Cosmetic and... Cosmetic and cosmetic. Cosmetic. We got a quiver of alacrity, so that's uh, super important. It's one of the reasons why, rather than starting a new character, you TR a character. Because once you get things like this on a character, it's worth TRing instead of making a new character. But there you go. 30% of my movement speed out of the gate. I've got this. I created it. It's a gem of many facets. It's got the uh, competence bonus to charisma based skills and regurgitation. Well, heals me one point every who knows how long. Whatever. We're gonna need. I'm taking all the stuff of level one and level two. I love this item. This is a plus two con for level one. Uh, it's gonna be my weapon. Put it on. Cosmetic, cosmetic. The character should look much better in a second. Cosmetics, cosmetics. Uh, let's see. Goggles of shield. This is a clicky and it's very important. Templar's chain. Do I have a better one? Well, I've got the feather falling ring. This is very good. Or this is five. And this is eight. I will take this. Let's take all my gem bags. Ingredients. High steps. Jump and tumble. Fine. Let's see what else. Your serious wounds. Uh, wounds. Yep. Healing potions. More healing potions. More healing potions. Intelligence. Fine. I don't need this. I don't need this right now. This is odd because like dampened plate. I think this is bugged. Let's, just, let's see if it's bugged or not. See this should be with a ma minimum level like 8 or something. Dampened frozen plane. But Apparently it doesn't seem to have a minimum level, so let's see if it works. What is this? 
Okay, this is not supposed to be working. This has this minimum level is not existent. There's a plus three. So unless they fix it sometime soon, I'll just keep it. And I'm gonna drop all my level two stuff in the bank. This level two. This level two. Um these all go in the back. I can drop this. And this. Need a throwing dagger, I don't have one. Whatever. Use the bow and arrow meanwhile. This I can use, this I can use. Uh, this I can use. Yeah. Okay. I think I've taken everything I need. Let's see how the character looks. Maybe stand some places not so dark. Let's see. Let's go into the backpack. Click on this. Where's Isle of Dread? Isle of Dread goes here. And then we've got... Drunken Tavern, I guess. Uh, Morgrave University. These are the ones that I usually use. The so Isle of Dread is my shortcut to uh, the ship. Reading really is the shortcut to the ship as soon as you turn around. There you go, ship. I need to get to the ship because I need to bind my character. Oh, before we go. Uh, let's see. Here, do. Yeah, this character was, I decided it was going to be white and green. Snow, I don't know if the snow is whiter or not. Basically the same thing, but whatever, fine. This is going to be my level one item. to be my ooze item if I need one. Anything else? Where's my healing at? healing goes into the backpack back back shortcuts this is C I'm in this order C D so curse and remove disease oh confirm that that works these are all in place. We got the potion to use. I guess I can use these goggles. I mean, have them here. Might as well put them on. I don't have anything better to put on. All right. Well, let's go downstairs and activate um, whatever it's called, the ship. Okay, come on, move. Any here now? Yes, resurrect me if I die. Thank you very much. Uh, I don't have any intention of... Uh, TRing this character, so probably this character is gonna stay uh, at cap, so and for that reason, I don't mind doing like all the favor. Let's go, Harbor. Always debatable what quest to do first. I think I'll do the solo quest first. You can go around and do all the breakables if you want, but it's like, the XP is so low, like, why would you bother? First time I did this character, this quest, I was with a ranger, 
and I used Charm Monster, and to my surprise, it actually worked. But then that backfired because I couldn't get them to follow me. They just stood there. And I didn't know how to dismiss Charm, so I just had to wait until the Charm ran out. I'm like, oh, I didn't know there's like feet you can all click because called called this my dismiss charm. Yeah, but having the plus 30 to your movement speed while doing this quest definitely makes this whole thing much easier. Need to have one of the dogs stuck someplace. Here he is. Thank you. Gloves I can't wear. I will take the... What's it called? Guild Renown. This is primarily a Kinsey build. So, yep. Big blades. Except those. This is for level 3, but who cares? It's another one of those quests where, like, why would you do all the breakables? You have a 15% multiplier on something who's basically zero. Probably add this over here. And this over here. Why bother? Whatever. Also, I completely forgot I could use shield. Got a clicky, might as well. did a long time ago I did a series of uh, speedruns and the premise of the speedruns was doing quests in DDO in under a minute so this was one of the candidates with the thieves gone Filver's goods are safe and secure once more the thief laughs as you approach. That dip squeaks and you oh, just one. Took zero damage this entire quest. That should tell you something about the difficulty level of this quest. What boots did I just get? Move silently. Oh whatever. I've got jump and tumble boots. <laughs> Why would I use that? Okay, there's one more over here. Two more, sorry. There's actually two ways to do this quest. With you the traps or without every the traps. Area within the Miller's home save the basement. But since I can't do the trap, I might get more XP if I do all the kills, so. We're gonna do that. Ever bright lamps lit. The Miller has told you the goods meant out. for the coin lords are in the back room of the basement. Then you gotta do arachnophobia. A particularly nasty looking iron defender charges forward. You have acquired the Go. Miller's goods. 
Time to return them to Berrigan Edge. Well, zero minutes and 59 seconds. There you go for a speed run. <laughs> I wasn't intending to, but... There is a total of five solo quests in DDO. Most of them are here right at the start, but then there's one of them who's level 19. This is also a quest I tried to do in a minute. It didn't really work. Trying to stick to the wall to avoid them from attacking me and breaking the sarcophagi. No longer infest the eastern wing of the crypt. Hey, somebody actually hit me. I like the fact that you can use these potions, the healing potions, uh, cure uh, serious wounds, whatever they're called. You can use them starting from level one. You need to get him from the, the you can get the guild version who is bound to character and you have to have access to a guild and guild uh, potion vendor in house k or you can buy the regular ones just go also to house k there's a potion vendor uh, off to the side where very close to where the auctioneer is and you can get yourself just whatever as many as you want or unbound and these are the same ones you'd, you'd find like in quests so this is a collectible i think nah it's another one Oh well, whatever. I'm only standing next to the wall because I don't want the smash sarcophagi that will try to hit me. Come on. I don't know why I love doing this. I made a video a long time ago with the old versus new. And back then, that's what I was doing also. Yeah, I think my movement speed is just too fast for him to catch up with me. Let's go get the collectible, I forgot it here. I'm very curious to know, do you get bonus for breaking sarcophagi? Because it doesn't seem like the fail state of not breaking the sarcophagi gives you extra XP. It's just like, don't break it. Okay, and then what? Well, uh, no, you just didn't break it. Finished. So, I want to see if you breaking a bunch of sarcophagi is actually better. Let's see if I break nine of them. Will it help me? Because right now I've got zero breakables. So, let's see. Gotta be careful. Three, two. Does it help? Nope. You gain nothing from breaking the breakables, so you don't even get like an extra ransack or whatever it's called. You hear a no extra bonus. Body moving about on eight spindly legs, the spider's lifeless body crunches under your boots. Well, that was underwhelming.
Well, yeah, I think that's going to be it. Got myself uh, started and established. Speed boost or pack and damage one. No, I'll take speed boost. And this goes here. Okay, well, I guess uh, that's going to wrap it up for this week. I guess, I don't know, let's stamp someplace a little bit better with a better view. Now my pet's in the way. <laughs> There we go. Something like that. Well, yeah. So that's it. And I'm, I guess I'm going to end it here. So, as always, if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And yeah, I hope to see you all in uh, my next video. Bye.